Hello again, this is Michael Torallo, Pre-Sales Director with Pentaho Corporation. Here we are continuing part four of the video tutorial series where we're going to go into using the Pentaho Report Designer. Keep in mind the Pentaho Report Designer is the tool that is used on a development workstation to create what is commonly known as operational, enterprise, standard, or pixel perfect type reports that can be deployed to the Pentaho user console or embedded into your applications. To give you an example of what those type of reports would look like, I'm going to log into the Pentaho user console using the default username Joe and the password password. And I'm going to navigate to our sample solution, Steel Wheels Reporting, and execute the inventory report. So just to give you a quick idea, we have a parameterization panel that is collapsible, an HTML pagination, and then the report below that, which basically depicts the information that was laid out and created in the Pentaho Report Designer. So this is an example of an operational or enterprise report, also commonly referred to as Pixel Perfect or managerial reports. Uh, these reports also have the capability of being shared and scheduled and distributed in a number of different fashions. We'll touch more on this in a bit. What we're going to do next is show you how to execute the Pentaho Report Designer. On a Windows workstation, after you install Pentaho utilizing the installer method, which we covered in part one of the series, under Start, Programs, you will have a program group called Pentaho Enterprise Edition, a subgroup called Design Tools, and then the appropriate design tools. Here is where Report Designer can be found. If you installed on Linux, you'll have a similar group based on the location of where you installed the software, in this case home, and there's my Pentaho folder, my design tools, and report designer. And here you could execute reportdesigner.sh. Okay, I've already started the report designer on my Windows workstation. You'll be presented with a welcome screen. If you immediately navigate to the Operational Reports folder and then select Inventory List, here you can see the actual design of the inventory report that we just executed in the Pentaho User Console. I can also preview that and you can see the actual layout. So this enables you to actually create and test directly within the Report Design tool. When you're finished, you have the ability to publish your changes to the Pentaho User Console. And we'll have more on this in a bit as well. So to easily get started, I'd like to show you the report wizard. Integrated into the report designer is a few step process of accessing a data source and then selecting a layout and then having the ability to publish that to the BI server or make additional manipulations. This has also been integrated into our new Agile BI initiative, which we'll cover later in the series. By selecting report wizard, you have the first option of selecting a look and feel. This is from a list of predefined templates that we provide, or you can create new ones yourself. In this case, we're just going to select the Pentaho template. Under Data Source and Query, we can choose to add a new data source, or you can actually have one configured as part of the template. In this instance, we're just going to choose JDBC Source. Now, creating a connection to your data source is as simple as clicking the plus connection icon and then selecting your data connection. If you remember in part one of the series, we copy the appropriate JDBC driver over to the appropriate location in the Report Designer tool, and here we can configure that connection name. Here I'll call this new Oracle connection. You'll notice there is access method of native JDBC, ODBC, OCI, and JNDI. These are different connection methods depending on how you would like to configure to your particular data source. In this case, we're going to select native JDBC. What this does is actually embed the connection information directly into the report object. So we are going to connect to my local instance of Oracle. The database name in this case is going to be XE. I will leave table space for data, table space for indices blank, port number 1521, and the username is Pentaho user and password is password. Here I can test the connection and you can see we have a successful connection. 
Okay, now I can choose my new Oracle connection. Click on the new query button and then select the edit button which will bring up a list of schemas in this case because Oracle uses schemas. Select Pentaho user and now I can have a list of all my tables that I can begin creating a query on. This basically is just a, a visual query editor that creates a SQL statement. If you have existing SQL or stored procedures that return result columns, you could use those as well within the query editor. So I'll create a simple query using my comp table, which is a dimension table, and the chord table, which is a fact table. And I'll just deselect all my columns. We will create a relationship on store code and select the region and the plant dimensions. And then what we'll also do is add an expression on a metric by right-clicking on the metric line price, selecting an expression, and then choosing sum. And we'll repeat that for line cogs. Okay, and next what we'll do is group by region, group by plant, and then also order by region, order by plant. And this will give me the appropriate column set that I could then use within my report. So there's the SQL query that's been generated. Click OK and you can see there's our query. Select Query 1. Click Next. And then we can group and select the items for the columns. In this case we'll use a high level grouping of region, a lower level aggregate of plant, and then select our line price and line cogs. At any time in the process, you can preview to see what the report will look like. On the next section, we get to rename and adjust certain labels. And I'll do that for plant and region. And at the same time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an aggregate count for the summary footer. That way, we'll have a count of plants. For line price, we'll call this sales. Choose the formatter with a dollar sign, and we can use an aggregation of sum. And we'll do the same thing for line cogs. Okay, preview. You can see the layout of the report, and click finish. So, within a few easy steps, we now have the basis of our report. At this point, I can easily publish this to the BI server, and I'm going to do that here by selecting the Publish icon, and then selecting the location to publish to. So here is where you would change the URL to the appropriate host name where you install the BI server on. In this case, we're going to use the local instance of my BI server. You also provide the Pentaho credentials, which are user Joe and password password, which are the default credentials for the folders that you're going to be publishing to. Here we can navigate to the location where we want to publish. In this case, I'll navigate to Steel Wheels Reports, and we'll call this My Test Report. Publish password is set up during the installation process. I use password. You will get a message that it's been published successfully, and if you want to launch it now. If you click Yes, it, what it will do is open up a web browser, prompt you to log in, Joe password, and then execute the report as such. Okay, so that is a published report from a SQL query developed with the Pentaho Report Designer. Um, if we go to the Pentaho User Console, upon refreshing of the Pentaho Solution Repository tree, that report will be in the location that you just published to from the report designer. Navigating to Steel Wheels Reporting, you can see my test report and execute it through the user console. Okay, so that basically just gives you a quick understanding of utilizing the report designer to create a very simple operational enterprise report. This tutorial I will leave you with the pre-sales tools page where we have a comprehensive report designer tutorial as well located here. 
I will include this link within the, the body of the message on the blog so you can navigate to there. But basically to learn more about the report designer, everything encapsulated inside the design tool, you can find that here. So we're not going to reiterate that in this uh, blog entry. As usual, thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.